He dances just like you. <laughs> Rude. Hey, welcome on back to you, me, and the movies. Tonight we got a special request. Special request. Granddaddy Marcus. Coming in hot. What are we watching? The Lighthouse. Here's what Marcus has to say. Hey guys, let's return to the good old weird movies and watch the 2019 art house horror, The Lighthouse by Robert Eggers. Is it scarier than The Witch? You'll find out. Oh God, I hope not. My shout out this month goes to the YouTube channels Pre-Math and Mind Your Decisions because you can't have too much math in your life. Check them out. I will agree to disagree on the math situation. Well, maybe you should watch these channels and I, you'll get better at math. Maybe I should. Yeah. So yeah, check them Take out. A few Pre-Math and Mind Your Decisions. All right, give them a follow if you're into math. Yeah. The Witch. I think also um, The Northman. I didn't like The Witch. So great. I appreciate it, though. It was a period piece. And it was it was horrifying. Yeah, but it was, like, well-made. Horrifying. Right? Great. So we're looking for a, a well-made horrifying Yeah, I heard movie. Robert Pattinson. I mean, Willem Dafoe's good in everything. Yeah. And Robert, I heard Robert Pattinson's really good in this. So. All right. Well, thank you, Marcus, for selecting a, another weird movie. Yeah. Should we jump in and head to the lighthouse? Let's do it. But Let's first, do it. like, comment, subscribe. Come hang out with us for the lighthouse. It's weird. Probably. Yeah, it's Marcus's pick. If you want to be like Marcus, get your own special request. Check out our Patreon link down below. You can also get early access, fully covered access, polls, help people watch this. Things like that. Check it out. He didn't actually use words the last sentence, but uh, we also have social media. So if you're into social media, you can follow us. Yeah, and send us all your words. Right. Right there. Let's watch The Lighthouse. Here we go. There's yet to be an A24 film I haven't enjoyed, so. It's what you call an overture. Oh, is I found it? that out from our 2001 Space Odyssey reaction. Is it in black and white? Yeah, it's black and white. I think it might be square, so I think it's supposed to be like old, old school, school style film. Interesting. I hate how grainy it is. But... Oh, I bet shooting square helps you not pick up other modern things in the background. Mm, could be. Less canvas to have to worry about stuff like that. Like right over here is a telephone pole. <laughs> is that a foghorn? Sounds like it. Oh, rotating. wonder how long their shifts are. Like, a year? Cool. I'm just watching the, other, the boat watching leave. Watching the steamboat leave. I don't think there's anything more ominous than fog on the ocean. So do we think they end up killing each other or themselves? I mean, five minutes yet, and you're jumping to conclusions. I mean, don't you think that this is like the perfect setting for some sort of cabin fever yeah. type movie? Maybe it's a love story. Oh, like Brokeback Mountain. Yeah. Could be. Oh, Yowch. Is he peeing? Missed a little. Yeah. Why not take a piss outside? You just were out there. <laughs> oh, God. That was like right in his face, too. Could have just pissed outside. Instead, comes inside, uses piss pot. Just crop dust in the whole room. It's definitely a love story. <laughs> I thought he was trying to do a, a cheek sneak. Oh no. Oh, it's a mermaid. 
What did you think it was? A bone or something? I thought it was like a demon doll or something, you know? Is that his? He left it there from last shift? Doubt it. So they coal powered lighthouse, so they gotta keep oh. it powered the whole time. Just stock the fire. Stoke. And keep it stocked with coal. <laughs> Should pale death with treble dread make the ocean caves our bed? God, who is the surge's roll, deign to save our suppliant soul. To four weeks. Oh, just a month. Uh, bad luck to leave a toast unfinished lad. I would agree. Uh, I don't understand it's against regulations, sir. Did you? Did picture you a read man? Why well, trying for trouble? Then you do as I say. I mean, what could happen in four weeks? How much shit could they get into in four weeks? Just fill it with some water. Well, at least cheers him. He's got to get a drink. The four weeks. <laughs> Water tastes like shit. <laughs> the sister needs a look into one of your duties. Blech. That's why you drink when you're out here. The liquor. Mm -hmm. Uh, the rules are alternating shifts. It's the mid watch. That's the dreadland. My watch. Night to morning. See to your duties. The light is mine. Seniority. Gotta pay your dues, you know. He's taking the night shift. The old man is. Yeah. Yeah. This is the most important shift. Probably. Oh boy. I would say the coal power is for the bolo horn. It's probably the for fog everything. Horn. There's not running power out there. Right, so why would stoking a fire produce light at the top? Maybe, yeah. Just a, a lamp up top? Don't know. I bet we'll find out. The fuck? It's probably hotter than hell up there. Uh, yeah, I guess I'd probably right. He looks like he's going through something though. Or well, he's having a long time. He's like worshiping the light. Lantern worshiper. I hate ominous sounds. It's probably just whales. I, I mean, I just hate sounds. It hurts my ears. Those coffins? Don't go into the water. What the fuck? He's dreaming. Jesus. Dreaming of mermaids. And the last one. She needs oil. Oil. Oil lamp. Something died in their cistern or something. Did you dump it in there? Some sort of, I don't know, like bleach or something to clean it. I 
Looks great. Oh. <laughs> Watching him jerk off. That's his bed. Is it his bed? That's where the hole was. It was dripping on his face. Oh. Was he going at it at that hole? Maybe. That's what that hole's for. <laughs> Thank you, lad. Winslow. Ephraim Winslow. This last two weeks, sir, I'd like it if you'd call me by my name. So it's, it's already been two weeks? I don't think you should mess with the seagulls on an island. Yeah, I feel like you might need to make friends with them, huh? Yeah. Mommy, you need to get a shoe at me for it. Do you think she meant to? Yes, she did. Did she throw it with anger or did she just throw it? Oh, it was anger. Oh, you figure well, you're so pouty. Oh, darn. I know, but it hurts. All right, well, that's... did you apologize? I'm sorry. Why did you throw the shoe? Who throws a shoe? I mean, seriously. So I guess they aren't friends, huh? Nah. Dealing with each other. That's what they're doing. Just gotta get the lamp oil all the way up to the stairs. Yikes. Just don't let go. Take your time, buddy. Take your time. Son of a bitch. Hope we don't have to do that one again. Use this next time. Save you a little lot of trouble. Well, now you don't gotta go down for a while. And bring that drum back down the ladder where we have found it. That's your fixing to burn the old light down. Oh yeah, I guess it is pretty much a fire hazard, huh? And see to the rest of your dukies. You're behind and already. Meanwhile, this this dickhead's just sitting there, staring at the light, naked, fucking his bed. I'm a wiki, and a wiki I is, and I'm damn well wedded to this here light. And she's been a finer, truer, quieter wife than any alive blooded woman. He wants to fuck that light, <laughs> right? The only medicine is drink. Keeps them sailors happy, keeps them agreeable, keeps them calm, keeps them stupid. Curse me if there ain't an old tar spirit somewhere in your line. He'll be having fun in no time. <laughs> what made your last keeper leave? Him? Be second? Mm hmm. He died. Died. Went mad, he did. Threw himself into the water. He believed that there was some enchantment in the light. He notioned. That sent Elmo had cast the very fire into it. So he lit himself on fire? Drown himself? Just like in his dream. I seen you sparring with a gull. Best leave him be. Bad luck to kill a seabird. More tall tales. Bad luck to kill a seabird! Fix us up some coffee. Long night ahead. Oh, jeez. You gotta respect someone's superstitions. Yeah. Especially when you're on an island. Yeah. Well, the guy who's fucking your bed. <laughs> you know? You gotta trust him. Pretty bird, pretty bird. I 
wonder what he's doing. He's got a sliver. <laughs> Pulling a sliver out? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to fuck that light. It's just imagining it. Awkward. This dude's weird. And if I tells you to yank out every single nail, suck off every speck of rust, till all them nails sparkle like a sperm whale's pecker, and then carpenter the whole light station back together from scrap, and then do it all over again, you'll do it! And by Hopefully he doesn't ask him to do that. <laughs> you hear me, lad? All right, sir. So is, that, is he just, like, sleeping and then manning the night light? Oh, yeah. Seems like it. And he's doing every other thing? Looks like it. Well, I guess you don't man the light at during the day, because there's no point in it, right? Other than a fog? Actually, I don't even know would a light do much in a day, with a fo even with fog? Foghorn's most important in the day, mm -hmm. I would imagine. Shit. Keep them steady, lad. Aye, sir. Whitewash must be even, lad. Bright, shining, like a silver whorehouse token. Shh. I'll drop you down a few feet. <laughs> Easy. Never been in better hands. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, keep still. I am. <laughs> Ow. Ouch. No, sir. Fooled me. I feel like we're jumping around a little bit. Yeah. You need a snack? I mean, I'm gonna try petting him or something. He's missing an eye. Yeah, it jumps around a lot. No, I think he's just. The story is not linear. Sometime soon I'll raise my own roof, somewhere up country, and that's all. Same old boring story, eh? This guy just wants to fuck lighthouses. <laughs> yeah, it probably gets real dirty if it's... Coal power? Yeah. Why do you suppose he locks it when he gets up there? So he doesn't get uh, walked in on when he's... Spit shine in the light. <laughs> if he dies up there. Left his tobacco. It's got a weird fucking devil ritual with his light. Is he making love to a mermaid? Turns into a kraken or something? This is a weird movie. Say the cistern's gone bad. Oh no. He didn't do it. He didn't do it. Oh that one. no. 
Your cracking crypt keeper's not gonna take kindly to that. Is he looking out the window yet? We're all gonna die. Uh oh. Northman wind. Is that bad? <laughs> Northeasterly wind will come soon, a blown like Gabriel's horn. Best board up them signal house windows. Something stirring in you. You're getting off this rock. Tomorrow he went slow. No, it is. Yeah, that'd be hard to do by yourself. Bet you the storm makes it so their shift change doesn't come. Right. He's probably an angry drunk. Don't get him wasted, dude. You'll be working the lamp in no time. Why haven't I? Well, the light. Don't ask stupid questions. Oh. <laughs> I don't know, it seems with a two man shift, you would want to keep the same sleep schedule, right? Yeah. One guy sleeps at night, one guy sleeps in the day. Pass out on the floor. Did anybody man the light last night? Probably not. Ugh. <laughs> Jesus. You got a shit pot? Spot. A shit pot spot. Oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> the goals were laughing at him, too. Mind the wind, dude! <laughs> God. He's hungover. At least it's raining. Mermaid. Oh god. Hallucination. Welcome on back. Do you mean the boobies? He's gotta be hallucinating, right? Gills. You don't think mermaids are real? I didn't say that. The siren song of a mermaid. I mean, it makes sense that if they had like a, a siren call, that it would be extremely loud out of water because if they use it in the water, yeah, yeah, if they're it would have to be loud yeah. to be in the. Yeah. They're fucked. There's no boat coming for them. They're not gonna make it. I think the mermaid's real. Do they have enough resources to keep the thing going? If Shouldn't have killed that damn seagull. What now? The damp has gotten to the provisions. The damp's got to the food stuff. The salt cord is out. Out. You got nothing to eat. Rasnick. Insubordinate again. It's only been one day. Weeks, Winslow. Weeks. What? He slept in. Dead drunk. It's been weeks ago since we missed our Winslow. And so has he lost time? Looks like it. I told you, it's not been linear this whole time. I have no idea how long we've been here. Dead. 
jig. What are they digging for? No idea. Buried rations? Buried booze. There's probably some food in there too, right? And turn gangrenous. Every shade of the peak. Yeah, some cans. It was that scurvy. What left me locked ever since. I thought you said you broke it. The leg. Catholic nuns and such like. I told that dumb bastard. Yeah. That means be goners. Give He's gonna stop drinking. Well, they got more friendly when they started drinking, though. Yeah, but no wonder he's losing fucking time. He's plastered all, every night. To eat grass. No tea. Scoats. And sheep. And cows. Now, they all got tea. Don't. The fuck's he talking about? How you eat grass without your teeth? You rip it out and you swallow it. <laughs> Seems like the logical option. What? 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 That's the trouble with you. That's the trouble. <laughs> if, I, if I had a steak, I would fuck it. <laughs> You're talking. How can I possibly like the horse shit you fix us for supper? You're drunk. You're fond of me lobster, ain't you? Drunk in a Virginia fan. I seen it. You're fond of me lobster. It looked good. Right. Hark! Hark! Triton! Hark! Bellow! Bid our father, the Sea King, rise from the depths Oh, uh, shit. To smother this young mouth with punch and slime. To choke ye, engorging your organs till ye turn blue and bloated with... You should've just fucking told him that his lobster was good. For any stuff or part of Winslow, even any scantling of your soul, is Winslow no more, but is now itself the sea. Oh, this is one hell of a monologue, holy shit. Uh, he barely blinked that whole time, too. All right, have it your way. <laughs> I like to cook it. Hey, it's a little too late now. Oh, you shit, should have probably stopped him in the middle of there. I mean, that's a little extreme. You wouldn't curse me if I didn't like your cooking, would you? Definitely would, yeah. Oh. It's a good thing I'm a good fucking cook, huh? Yeah, good thing. I didn't enjoy the steak you cooked last night. Yeah, of course. I wouldn't, I wouldn't fuck it, though. Thank you. Is he watching him in the lighthouse again? Yeah, I know. this. I, that's why. It's not linear. So, like, did the time he saw him as a Kraken, did that happen after he was cursed? He cursed him, you know? We don't know. Oh, that's what he stole the knife for. Is there not even a journal in there? Log books. Oh. <laughs> Gone. What's he think it's going to say? Like, convince the guy that we've been here for six months and it's only been three weeks. Like, I don't know. What does he Everybody think? says all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Sun is over the yard arm. 
Best find some links before the day draws farther on. God. I mean, I love a fart, but it's kind of rude to just be ripping him in front of him all the time. Oh, so powerful it made his eyes water. There ain't even human no more. What now? Oh, God. Uh-oh. He's hitting the cabin fever moment. Does he even have coal in that? He's just shoveling water into the... Oh, boy. He's losing it. Who's that? His dad or something? <laughs> what the fuck was that? Never had that reaction? I've never thought about, you know, mermaids before, so, no. Uh-oh. What are you looking for? <laughs> oh, he broke his mermaid doll. Is that his head? No. He dances just like you. <laughs> Rude. A little slow dance happening. I told you it was a love story. <laughs> gonna have a little kiss here. Oh boy. <laughs> we gotta be men. <laughs> I almost kissed you. I gotta be a man. <laughs> Fake identity. He killed a guy. Changes identity. I, I trust you, Tom. You trust me? Oh, I don't trust you at all. <laughs> <laughs> How long do you think it's really been? like four days <laughs> I, I wanted to do them in I admit I did I I didn't I didn't I I did not but I saw him slipping not me we saw the jam coming I stood and he slipped right Ephraim Winslow, well, now he's got a spiffy, clean slate, and how else am I going to find respectable work? Tom? Just spilled his heart, he's not even there? He's banging his lighthouse again. Why don't you spill your beans, Tommy? What's going on? Are they the same person? Well, they're both named Tom. I kind of had that thought earlier. That He's the younger the version, version of him. Mm -hmm. He's losing it. Oh, 
That's probably not a good idea. You guys life jacket on, it'll be alright. That's why he was so aggressive about the killing the bird. Because he was the one that killed the bird. The younger version of himself actually was the one that killed the bird, and then it brought... I think it's a time loop. Yeah. You don't. You killed a second. Ah! And found him. In the lobster pot. The seagull only had one eye. Now I'm free. Now I'm free from your designs. <laughs> oh, man. And I knew you was mad when you smashed up that lifeboat just now with chasing me with an axe trying to kill old Tom. Don't you trust me, Tommy? Or he's just gaslighting him really bad. <laughs> We're out a drink. It's probably a good thing. Is he drinking lantern oil? With honey in it? <coughs> Woo! <laughs> That's probably not a good idea. Even worse than Stormy now? Uh oh. The whole building flood? <laughs> Who knows what's real anymore? I wish I could go for a walk. Hey, my guest. They're gonna run out of lantern oil. Also, that's probably gonna kill them. I wonder what kind of oil it is. Whale blubber. <laughs> it's usually like kerosene, isn't it? Lantern oil isn't usually kerosene. Maybe paraffin. What's it say? He's got vomit in his mustache. Stick your laugh, snoring, and you goddamn fox! You goddamn, goddamn fox! <laughs> Smelly jism, like rotten dick, like like curdled foreskin. Curdled foreskin. You're goddamn drunken, horse shitting, short shit liar. You have a way with words, Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> You're relieved of your duties. <laughs> Where the fuck's he gonna go? No, no. It does seem calmer outside, doesn't it? Uh, assistant slept late. Work below standard. Attitude. Hostile. Drunk on duty. Assault. Theft. Recommend severance without pay. Will you kill me like you done that gold? I did. Liar! Twas ye what changed the wind on us. You're a dog. A filthy dog. A dog! Oh, boy. Oh boy, he's... <laughs> What's going on? Who's that guy he keeps seeing? Winslow. Oh. The guy who <laughs> died. Bark, I said, bark! 
Oh, that next shift's got a lot of shit to clean up. Yeah. They're gonna need to just burn that house down and start over. He's got him on a leash. He's gonna bury him alive? Kinda seems like it. Stay blind. Get in it. See. Oh! Ugh. Where no man is suffered. Want or oh, toil. Spit it out. Beautiful and unchanging. As He's just change. chewing the dirt. You'll be punished. Good on Willem Dafoe to do the whole monologue getting dirt shoveled in his face. Good God. You buried a man alive. I forgot the keys. Oh, he wasn't trying to save him. Oh, he doesn't <laughs> want to save him. He's just trying to get the keys. It's dead. Probably not. What's up there? Just a big fucking light. He's really gonna get tetanus now. Oh, well, say that did the trick, huh? He's dead now. Light himself on fucking fire. Jeez. Yummy. I'm gonna decommission this lighthouse. <laughs> well, that boat's gonna be crashing into that rock. Maybe he's got a mermaid trapped up there. <laughs> Is it just a flame? That's why you close and lock the, the trap door. So you don't fall down when you're freaking out? Yeah. Well, that's unfortunate. Well, All that, right. was, that was a weird one. So did that really happen? I have no fucking clue. <laughs> no idea. It's a real weird one. I still kind of think it's the time loop. I feel like kind of they were like both it, the right? same person. And I feel like him falling down the stairs was how old Tommy broke his leg. Could be. All right. Had the limp. Because as he was going down the... As he was falling, it's he sounded like Willem Dafoe. I don't know. I don't know. So, I, don't know. I mean, it sounded like Pattinson. It, it could have been like a lot of... Willem Dafoe. And, like, that was him going crazy after he killed Winslow, who was his original partner. Could be. And that was, like, a metaphor for the seagull that he killed or something. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, All right. that's kind of what I was thinking while it was happening, but I, they don't give you any help. No. It's no. up to interpretation. Yeah. What was real? God, you gotta love a story like that. Good old cabin fever. Mm-hmm. What really happened? Right. All right, well, I don't know. It was great. Like, Willem Dafoe and Rob Patson oh, knocked the, it out of the Oh, the park. performances were fantastic. Yeah, yeah I mean, it was um, intense, some of those monologues. Yeah. William Defoe's monologue was like five minutes long. Yeah, I don't think he blinked for five minutes. It was, and it was all one yeah, take. One shot, yeah. So, Crazy. I wonder how many times he had to do that to get it. For, for him? Probably just like yeah, twice, right? Yeah. He's, he's one it's of those unreal. amazing guys. That's just. And then Robert Pattinson did a great job of acting crazy, yeah. right? Like he really nailed the. His whole speech about. The cabin fever crazies. When he was calling Tom. 
what a liar about all of those tall tales. Mm. Like, I thought that was a really good speech. Did good was, there. Yeah. The performances were fantastic. The storyline, mm. I'm not... I mean, intriguing, because you don't really know what's, what's happening. What's going on there. But also infuriating, because you don't know what's happening. Yeah, that's the point. No, it's supposed to be like... it's supposed to. You're supposed to feel like they are... You don't know what's going on. Like you've got cabin fever? Yeah. And you just want to get the fuck out of there? You're supposed to feel the same way? Yeah, I felt just like that. I want to get the hell out of this story. Which Willem Dafoe monologue was better? His curse... Or when he was getting dirt shoveled into his face. Uh, the when he was getting dirt is just like you know that he was actually eating dirt. Yeah. For that, like, props to him for. That had to be the only. That had to have been the only take. Dirt. He probably nailed that in one take. I would imagine. Because he's like, he I'm like not doing that again. On it. He probably Ugh. swallowed some dirt for sure. I don't so. know why he didn't just spit like. Because he had to say the words. Instead, so he just chews on it. Just yeah. chew on that dirt. Had to say what he had to say before it was too late. Yikes. So. I thought the cinematography was really interesting also. Yeah. I mean, black and white. Square picture, four by three. Yeah. Ratio. Yeah. Interesting. Added a, a different layer yeah. for sure. It, it added to the timeline, like the timeliness of it. Like yeah. it you pulled you into the world of, even though there's color back then, obviously. It, this felt oh like i mean you knew it was old right, right? this was like an artsy fartsy movie but it didn't feel as off-putting as some artsy fartsy <laughs> movies well it's because there was farts in it oh uh, it could be yeah. right you like farts mm. so yeah it, it, it you know counterbalanced the artsy yeah it. there you go so yeah so this is the third robert eggers film that we've watched we've watched the witch i hated that the one. north man i didn't like that one either or the northman and then the lighthouse. Would you say this is your my most favorite of the ones we've the watched one that you've so far? Enjoyed the most. Yeah, it'd be the lighthouse, the Northman, and and then the witch. I don't. I would. I wouldn't even categorize the witch. I yeah. don't ever want to consider that. Which is too that. scary for you. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, just all about demons, and I don't. It was about witches. Same fucking thing. Yeah. Super His course. next film is Nosferatu. He's currently producing it. Right. So that's gonna be fun. One of the, the first horror film. Yeah. And he's a hundred years later making it. Interesting. So it'll be interesting to see his take on it. It'll probably be he's, black and white. Too, he's got so. a really dark style for yeah. sure. And I like how visually he has, and just he has his own style as period pieces. That's all he wants to make and just real dark, yeah. weird shit. He lets the actors really go at it. Mm. Like Willem Dafoe had a lot of fun in The Northman too. So yeah, I think. Yeah. He yep. Lets, he lets him chew those lines real good. And the dirt. The Northman was fine. It was a good movie. Yeah. It was just the story. Had, I just felt like it had been done too many times. Like it wasn't a very unique you story. You didn't realize it was Hamlet. Until. Right. But that's why it felt so <laughs> yeah. familiar. You're right? like, what? I've seen this before. Yeah. Why is this so... Yeah, so... Um, this was different in that the story was very mm, unique. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Now I'm like second guessing my my ranking. I think you need to watch the Northman because I liked when, the Northman. It just didn't. You, the you story didn't, just wasn't. You appreciate it more once you realize, oh, it's just it's the original Hamlet <laughs> that Shakespeare adapted. Yeah, That's, the storyline is just not a unique. One. Yeah. Hmm. Whatever. Doesn't matter. What do you guys think? Yeah. Where would you rank, rank your this Eggers. Robert Eggers film? Yeah. Rank your Eggers films. Yeah. And thank you to Marcus for selecting another year one. And let always. us know your theories about what really happened in this film. Yeah, what do you think happened? I'm sure there's a lot. Like, it, I'm sure somebody's done the research. Especially when he said, my name's Tom, too. Mm. That definitely is. Like, I was thinking it beforehand, but then once he said, my name's Tom, too. And, like, they're both named Tom. Yeah. It felt like he was fighting with himself. He's a little bit Definitely. Himself, so. um, yeah, tell us what you think or what Robert Eggers thinks, if yeah. you know. Yeah. Anything else? Thanks for hanging out. Come back next week for a... A less weird movie. Yeah, maybe. Hopefully. You, you never know. Thank you, Marcus. If you want to be like Marcus, get your own special request. You might be able to snag one of the special request slots down here on our Patreon link. You can also get early access, full income, and access to pull up a special watch next. Link's out there. Check it out. Until next time, have a good one. Bye.